Let's talk first of all about your UL-94 and what that's going to mean for the aviation community. Okay, so we brought out the UL-94. We've been working on this for the last couple of years. We got FAA supplemental type certificates for a particular tranche of the, uh, the aircraft, the 91 motor octane requiring uh, Avgas type aircraft like the Cessna 172 RNS and the Piper Seminole and a whole bunch of others, hundreds of them, and they're all accessible on our website. You can see which ones require the Avgas STC. That group plus the light sports plus the autogas STC aircraft, all those different kinds of aircrafts can use the 94 motor octane Avgas fuel. We estimate it's about 60% of the U.S. fleet or more. There's already a big swath of the country that's using the fuel. Pilots say they really love it. We've talked to mechanics that talk about the cleanliness of how the fuel burns. You know, they go in for 100 hour inspections and stuff like that, 50 hour inspections, they get all sorts of feedback. Once the guys start flying the fuel, they, they realize the, the premium quality of the fuel and they, they love it, they don't want to switch back. What is different about the UL-94 to uh, say any, some other type of, of alternative fuel? Okay, so, so broad comparisons, you compare it to low lead, obviously it doesn't have lead. If you take the lead out of low lead, you'll end up with different grades of base alkalate and our grade is a very high pr premium quality of the base alkalate. That, that's what gets the minimum 94 motor octane rating. So it's a very high grade of gasoline. If you compare that on the other end to autogas, um, autogas you can buy with ethanol or without ethanol, but autogas has a lot of what are called high boilers that can create deposits on engines. Sometimes autogas is sold with detergents to prevent that, but nevertheless it's more complicated. There's more gum forming compounds in autogas. Autogas is not commercially insured for aviation. Autogas has variable vapor pressure by state by month, so you're never quite sure what vapor pressure you're getting for your airplane, where an avgas in an airplane has got to be low, 5.5 to 7.1 PSI, so there's a requirement for aviation gasoline that it be at a set standard, and ours meets that standard. Now you also here at uh, Sun and Fun announced a distribution deal for the UL-94. Where can people get it, and is it a competitively priced? There's not any place in the country that you say you can't get it. It's a function of working out a few details. So we did sign a framework contract with AvFuel, and by the way, we're standing in front of an AvFuel fuel truck. The fuel is available to anybody, anywhere that wants to buy it. It's a function of do they have the proper kind of prerequisites. Do they need certifications if they do for certain kind of aircraft that fly to their field? Do they have a necessary tankage on hand? A lot of places do and we're working with them well. If they don't, we're working with them to sort that out. I think we'll either double or triple the number of people using our fuel in the next two or three months relative to this flying season because we're sorting all these things out. People are all excited about the fuel. They're starting to use the fuel and that's creating momentum for us to sell even more. Now let's look down the road just a little bit because your UL-102 is one of two that was selected for phase two evaluation by the FAA as the drop-in replacement for 100 low lead across the entire spectrum. Where do you stand on that project and what are the steps that are going to be going forward to, towards that certification? All right, so the program, uh, what's called the PAFI program, started, it began forming back in 2013. The, the fuels, the, the proposals and fuels that were submitted in, uh, in mid-2014, uh, there were 17 uh, originally submitted, 17 different proposals from different places. Uh, the FA picked four, two of those four were from SWIFT, and then for the last uh, 14 months or so, Phase one has been going on, that's completed, and now the FAA selected two, one from SWIFT, one from Shell for phase two. That was announced on March the 29th, just days ago. They're organizing phase two plans right now for what they want starting in June or July and then going forward to the end of 2018. So we're waiting for instructions on how to participate in phase two. Well, Chris, thank you very much. Good luck with the certification process, and I'm sure we'll be talking with you as that process unfolds. Great. Thanks, Tom, very much. Aero TV is brought to you by Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.